I have a question for you guys. Do you make revision cards and do you find them useful? If you make flashcards, then make sure you do use them as well because I have a sneaking suspicion. A lot of people make them and they think that's the revision task. Use them to quiz your friends. Use them to go over things quickly. And once you think you memorized one, put it away, put it in a separate pile and just keep making that pile of the ones you're trying to memorize smaller and smaller and smaller as you go. So if you do make revision flashcards, put a comment below, what do you do with them afterwards? So I'm really interested because, well, you can just buy them ready-made. CGP do some great ones and Collins have released them as well. I like these because they're really detailed, but I really don't like CGP because they tend to underline just about every single thing. They don't highlight the most key information. My memorized videos just tell you the detail that's in mark schemes. They go through and they just tell you the detail that'll be in the mark schemes, just the key terms the examiners are looking out for. Memorize these rather than memorize longer, waffly explanation. These are the CGP ones. This is the chemistry set, but they're all basically a similar idea. Links to all the chemistry and the biology ones in the description as well. They now do them for all the different exam boards. They used to only do them for AQA, but this is for OCR Gateway. They do them for all the, uh, the exam boards and they're basically structured as question and answered. I think that's pretty neat actually. Questions and answers with some quick questions and some actual harder ones. So. For example, all hazards has a risk attached to them. What's meant by a risk? A risk is a chance the hazard will cause harm. Pretty good. That will enable you to do quizzing sessions. Why not make a game of it? So why not replace any board game with these question cards and play a game of, uh, to revise with your friends? I mean, I think they're pretty neat, actually. I wouldn't personally go making myself flashcards if I could just buy these and get them for every one of my sciences and just work through those. Question and answer is one of the best ways to learn. It is the way we learn as human beings. And you're also skilling yourself up to recall those facts and apply them to situations ready for the exam. So I really like those CGP cards because they're based around questions and answers. Thanks, CGP. Links are in the description if you do fancy this. So if you do make revision cards, I suggest you make them from mark schemes. You make them from the detail that are seen in mark schemes. So you are trying to memorize the stuff that comes up regularly in mark schemes. CGP and Collins both make a set of flashcards. I like them because they're really detailed, but I find that sometimes the key information is really hidden in long gun and waffly explanations. Flashcards should be short and they should just contain the detail that you need for that exam. In my memorized videos, I've just boiled it down to the stuff that comes up in the mark schemes time and time again. I've used my experience as an examiner to just distill the stuff that I'm looking for when I mark questions on all these topics. So check out these videos memorized for paper one and for paper two. I've done for AQA and I've done for OCR, so check these links. So if you do make revision cards, there's two things you need to get right. You just need the detail that people are looking for on the mark schemes. So actually make the revision cards using exam materials, using questions that you've done in class. Don't make them from the revision guide. Don't just be copying out the revision guides onto flashcards. That is not the way to do it. The second thing to make sure you get right is to make sure you're using them afterwards. Make them and then use them. Make them and use them to quiz your friends. If you don't have time and you haven't made flashcards, don't start now. Just buy the CGP ones and use them to quiz each other <laughs> because it's the using of the flashcards that's really gonna help it stick into your memory. Okay, so answer that question for me. Do you make revision cards and what do you do with them after you've made them?